Hey guys, welcome to my Let's Play Genshin Impact series Back to Square 1. Be it story, exploration, combat, or quest, this series serves to assimilate new players into the game using a veteran's point of view to offer guidance that can not only help you quickly advance in Genshin, but introduce some tips and tricks that will help you throughout the game without spoiling the fun of exploring Teviat and its lore. Enjoy! Like, comment, subscribe. Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Back to Square 1. So today, in this episode, right, we'll be covering on uh, exploring Dragon Spine. So you'll actually be unlocking the entire Dragon Spine, especially doing the story and whatsoever. This is actually a story that I don't mind so-called spoiling for you guys because I'm uh, pretty certain that uh, this Dragon Spine right, doesn't have the actual like story as as in uh, Mondstadt, Liyue, and Inazuma as of now. So, I feel like it's okay for me to show you guys, with, and it wouldn't spoil too much of the fun for you guys. So before we get started, right, because uh, Dragon Spine is a little bit challenging of a place to go, so um, I'm actually going to level up some of my characters and artifacts as well. Mainly the artifacts, because since the last time, right, I haven't... Um, done anything to my artifacts and to be honest they are kind of falling off so I'll just show you guys what I mean so as for Xiangling right her artifacts are level 0 level 4 I kind of want to get my uh, Xiangling and and Kaya right the artifacts I want them to be level 8 so that you know I can remain competitive with the content in the game uh, at the end of this episode, when we spend our resin, right, we're actually going to level up Kaya's uh, sword so that by next episode, right, we'll have a nice leveled up sword with a lot more base attack and potential for more energy recharge for Kaya as well. So, with that, right, let's get right into it. First things first, we'll level up his artifacts, and I, um, the reason why I don't I didn't uh, level up his artifacts, right? It's because I didn't want to confuse you guys in the early game. So actually, in the early game, right, you don't want to be focusing too much on the artifacts, because the artifacts are only going to get stronger and stronger as the game uh, goes on. It's not compulsory for you to have good artifacts right off the bat. So in the early game, it's more about maximizing your set bonuses because these uh bonuses can be pretty good rather than the main stat because uh when you first started right we are only exposed to like one star two star artifacts and then suddenly uh when we hit like AR20 we get like three star artifacts when we hit AR30 we start to see more four star artifacts right so right now I'm AR32 and the amount of four star artifacts I have is a substantial amount so I believe that I can start uh start to prioritize which characters get the best artifacts so definitely for me it will be Kaya first and then Xiangling and then after that Sucrose because Sucrose is still a pretty uh, excellent support as well so in, in, in my team of 4 right I have 2 supports so I have Sucrose as one of the supports and Diona is the other support so Diona how does she contribute to the team? well I gave her a Favonius Warble so she will generate a small amount of elemental particles when she performs a crit hit. Although her crit rate is not very high, so like 7%, right? Um, but it does provide a bit of a fringe benefit sometimes. So that is... Uh, so Diana, apart from being a energy generator, right, she's also a shielder for us. So uh, she, generates a, she generates a shield with her E. Of course, I didn't level it up yet because she's not like one of my main priority. Um, in case you guys don't know what I'm referring to, right? In one of my earlier episodes, I mentioned that the key to maximizing your damage output in the early game, right, is to focus on one single character. So in my case, right, that one character that I hyper invested in, that's the term I'm gonna use, is Kaya. I wanted to do it for Xiangling, but you know, based on last episode, you guys saw what I did with my Po arm, so that's out of the option. Now, all I have left is Kaya. So, the best I can do for him is to level up his artifacts. That's, that's how I hyper-invest. So, um, I, have, I haven't touched these artifacts in a very long time, so I'm going to be uh, probably upgrading this. This piece is pretty good. 
So uh what what I define pretty good right is like in the early game you want more uh attack percent. So anything with attack percent is is good. And then crit rate and crit damage is always good as well. So this piece actually gives crit rate. So if I have more crit rate, right, the chance of me landing a critical hit right gets increased. So right now it's like a quarter of the time, but if it increases, right, then that's all the merrier. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and uh, enhance this artifact. So we'll don't worry about um feeding all those uh other artifacts in because the the one star two star artifacts right they're pretty easy to get and you won't be using them not like the weapons right the weapons you actually use the three star weapons okay so once we get to level four we should unlock the last step of the artifact let's see what is it okay defense that's actually really bad but you know we just want to see how how much our crit rate can go up to crit rate as well as attack sorry i think honestly attack is more important because uh getting your crit rate from like 20 percent to 30 percent honestly it's not much of a difference but getting your attack up is pretty significant okay but we uh we got our uh, uh crit rate instead of attack but you know it's not it's not it's not the worst so uh level 8 artifact let's step down to kaya and his feather let's see if we can get a better feather for him probably not we probably don't need any more energy recharge so um i'll probably be investing in this feather it doesn't really matter in the in the early game like which uh even if you invest in a subpar artifact right the interesting thing about this game is that when you uh, get better artifacts right you can actually feed this artifact into the into the new artifact right and it retains uh, a large portion of the of the exp that you have put in into the artifact if i'm not wrong it's like 60 percent or something I'll, I'll pop the figure up on the screen so don't worry okay we got energy recharge so that's not too bad um level eight is is as far as we'll go for here so actually the feather is really good to invest in because the feather right, gives you attack like i said attack is very important and this as well so uh actually yeah this is the best so we have attack crit damage and crit rate so we definitely want to you know invest more into this we definitely want more attack percent so this is a really good uh piece to invest in so we're just gonna feed everything into this okay level eight let's see what okay we got hp as the new stat not the end of the world we got much of attack percent which is uh mainly what we are going for right so and also um cryo damage bonus we want we want some cryo damage bonus as well because you know cry uh kaya is all about the cryo his, his out is all about the cryo his q rather and his e as well so we want we want more of that let's just invest a little bit more okay so elemental mastery okay not the end of the world once again so um his so let's see if we can actually use a better one for him okay not not many options we have in here crit damage is not exactly very good hmm well i might just invest in this why not you know like like what i've mentioned right we don't want to be uh saving too much of the resources because uh these uh these resources can be can be um recycled rather when we get better artifacts to a certain extent so it's not it's not like whatever we're investing now we'll lose all of them once we get better artifacts don't worry about that so our kaya is actually pretty uh pretty invested in right now i, I would say that kaya is uh is doing well uh let's look at xiangling so Xiangling is 2 star ascension, she's definitely not, not the hyper invested uh, person but we still want to you know, give her a bunch of decent artifacts as well let's see hmm. okay I think I'll give her this elemental mastery one but I might not level it up yeah I, I, I don't see I, did, I don't see a point in leveling that up but um, this is a good piece it's not it's not like perfect once again but it's like decent enough 
that we can invest our resources without without feeling like you know it's a waste. Okay. And her feather, wow, she's using this feather. Wow. Let's let's get her a better one. So uh scholar yeah we, we probably want energy recharge on Xiangming, right? Because in case you guys didn't know right, Xiangming actually has a has a burst cost of 80, so she needs 80 energy just to cast her burst. So it's it makes a lot of sense. Oh wow, we got a tech percent, that's good. It makes a lot of sense for us to build energy recharge into Xiangming. Okay, that's good, that's good. Okay, this this is a pretty decent piece. So uh energy recharge on the two set bonus is definitely good for us. Let's see if we can invest in anything else. Uh, attack percent, okay. Let's let's invest in this. Yeah. The stats are the, the main stat is mainly what we are going for, right? When we look in the piece. So it's pretty good for us. Okay. My Xiangling is actually doing pretty well. I don't really care about the the substats. It's it's good to have nice substats, right? But it's not the end of the world if you don't have them. Okay, the cup probably Nah, probably not gonna invest in the cup. Okay, let's see. So her talents. Wow. This is this is honestly quite sad. <laughs> I'm going to have to do this because you know I, I can't wait any longer. I can't wait any longer. And uh this this uh among the all they were spending into Xiangling right, is honestly quite negligible, but it you know it basically doubles a base attack. And all the attack stats that we gain from the um from those uh artifacts and stuff, the attack percent, right? It all builds off of this base attack. So we want to be leveling this uh base attack. So um hmm, wow. I I don't know if I'm gonna do this. I think I'll put it on hold for now. Her base attacks on the weapon is 80. Wow, that's, that's not so good. But well, uh, Sucrose, right? We actually need to we need to invest in her. So let's start with her weapon. Again, we can feed all these uh, 1 star, 2 star without feeling any pain. Okay, I believe that's the best way to level this up. Okay, we can go ahead and level it up one time. Probably well okay, let's let's not let's not use the let's not use the three star weapons. Let's instead use the ores. Because these ores, right, the only thing they are used for is leveling up weapons. They are they are made to level up weapons, so like there's no point in saving the ores. Okay. Uh, that that's probably pretty good for now, really. because we don't really need that that good stuff on uh, Sucrose. But definitely her artifacts, right? We can do something about it. Let's see. Okay. Um. Any? Hmm. Not. Not that great. I would say I'm looking for elemental mastery. Okay. Okay, uh, this, uh, this is a 3 star artifact, right? But I'm gonna level it up anyway. 3 star artifacts are cheaper to level up, by the way. But, um, you know, the the whole point, okay, I'm, I'm not gonna level it up to level 8 because, you know, it's a 3 star artifact. It, I'm gonna get a lot of 4 star artifacts from this point on, so like, this this guy right here is gonna get outclassed pretty quickly, so I'm not gonna invest too much into that. But let's look out for more energy recharge and elemental mastery. Elemental mastery, okay. Hmm. Okay, so attack bonus as well. Okay. We will probably want okay, any more damage bonus, that's great, but we we don't exactly need our sucrose to be dealing that much damage anyway so probably um this because of the i mean attack percent great you won't you won't go wrong with attack percent right so let's just level that up okay 
So that's good enough for us for now. Stands. Oh man. Oh, all artifacts is just so bad. Okay. Uh, let's just switch to this. Uh, let's see if we can get another one. Okay. Two piece instructor. Definitely good. Um, is this better for us? No, probably not. Okay. Um, let's. You know what? We need a flower to fit one of these sets. To get to get the the piece bonus right. So oh wow, this is actually a really good tree. Uh, a really good three star artifact. So let's just slap it on. Level up to level four, just just so that you know it's like slightly better. Okay, wow, we actually got perfect rolls on this artifact, but it's a three star artifact. It's so good though. Okay, I I I just I just feel a bit a bit like you know wasted that that's on there, but. That's fine, that's fine. We need to level up our talents as well. Okay. Um, Warper Flower. Yeah. Okay, her E, you know what, level 1. That's fine for me. So with that, right, let's just go ahead and investigate Dragon Spine. So, um, we'll just pick up all the quests, because all these quests are related to Dragon Spine, right? So we want to... This guy lost his daddy. His dad was lost in Dragon Spine, so we need to go and search for his dad, basically. Okay. Okay. He'll he will tell us all these clues, uh, but you know the clues are in the quest itself. We will uh probably focus on the main quest first. So actually uh before we get into Dragon Spine, I uh, just want to let you guys know that you need it's absolutely compulsory, you need a cryo character and a pyro character. You need both of these for the various um for the various puzzles. <laughs> so the monsters in this uh dragon spine right they are a little bit high level. So you just gotta be careful of them. But after I invested, I can really really feel the difference. Definitely worth the investment then. Oh my a lot more damage huh? right now. <laughs> Kaya was doing, I think, 900 flat. Now he's doing 1300. Doing <laughs> and off crit, I think that went up as well. Okay, that's our first camp that we cleared out in the spike. That's nice and all, but uh, you guys might have noticed, right? There's this uh, bar that's filling up at the bottom, and this bar, right, is actually not good. So let me press U to show you guys what's going on. So we are actually in a sub-zero climate. So the the effects of this uh, sheer cold, right, they will accumulate after a while, so it will get worse and worse. All right, we are back. So actually, I wanted to show you guys what happens when this bar fills up, right? So we start losing HP, and it's pretty fast. So with that. <laughs> let's let's quickly solve the issue. So one way is to pick up the scarlet cords. So check out exploration. So if we break them right, we'll engulf our character in this uh, warming energy, right? Basically you we'll apply an instance of pyro. So it keeps us warm for a little while. Alright, uh another point I want to key you guys into is actually this warming CD, right? So this series uh, they are basically just a warm version of the of the normal series that we see in like Monster or the year. So these guys, right? If you follow them, well, they will give us this. Uh, they will they will give us this chest as well. But most importantly, right? They create this warming point. So you if you stick next to them, right? You actually won't accumulate sheer cold. So that's just uh, something to note. All right, guys. So we are back. Actually, uh, this is the main quest for this area. So we are supposed to investigate this strange ice. Also, there's also a frost. I think it's called a what? Frost arm lava churl or some something like that. Yeah, he's a pretty difficult monster to kill. So let's not get into that first. We need to find a way to investigate this strange ice. So these blocks, right? They cannot be melted by pyro attacks, unlike the one that we saw previously. So what we need to do is we need to collect 
the Scarlet Quartz to neutralize this, uh, this ice. So let's just uh, get rid of our Sheer Coal first because we're going to start getting deducted HP pretty soon. So find the Scarlet Quartz. Okay, wait. First, let's unlock this teleport waypoint. Okay. So we're going to just collect the Scarlet Quartz and then feed it into that uh, block of strange ice which is over here. Okay, so we need to do it about four times. So I'll just cut to the point where I got all my four and we'll see you guys soon. Alright guys, we are back. So we are dealing the last blow to this thing and we can start. Okay, so we get a cutscene and we notice this uh, this thing in the middle, right? This thing is actually a crimson agate. So it's basically like, it shows up as a star on the map. Similar to those like, um, oculi, right? So if you haven't already guessed by now, they basically serve the same function. They're just the oculi for uh, this. So this frost bearing tree, right? Basically, um, it's like a statue of the seven. It's it's like equivalent, except you can't teleport to it. That's that's the only difference. But you know, there's a teleport waypoint right beside it. So let's collect this. So we'll collect this crimson agate, and then we will feed it into this guy. So let me show you guys an example. So once we collected ten, right, we can feed it in, and we'll get some nice rewards. So these are the rewards. So now we're at level one, right? We can already claim like a free wish and stuff. We get a bunch of exp as well. So that's always good, always good. Yep. Okay, so that's it uh, for now for this uh, part. We'll continue on with the quest and I'll see you guys soon. So we are hit by some massive snowstorm so we can't proceed any further. So we actually have to go back. So uh, between just now and now, right, I actually unlocked the map of Dragon Spine by unlocking this Statue of the Seven. So when we entered from here, we just uh, I just climbed a bunch of mountains and I unlocked this and now we are here. So we'll report back to Iris right now. And honestly, I'll just skip to the next part that's important because it's going to be a very long uh, quest. Okay, so after getting the quest from Iris, right, we actually need to go to Entomb City outskirts and Stargrove Cavern for the next two uh, of those uh, blue, blue plants. They're actually um, similar to the frost bearing tree just now, uh, like what we saw. So we just have to repeat the process again for the next two locations and I'll just cut to the part where I'm done with all three of them. Alright, so the main challenge for this guy is uh, we'll have to do literally a challenge and then we'll unlock the force wheel around it and then we can start feeding the Prince again. Wait, let me just warm myself up. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the third one and then we'll probably move on to the next phase of the quest. It, the next tree is a little bit more challenging. This is the reason why I recommend you guys to level yourself up. Because we are going to be fighting a bunch of these uh, rune guards and rune graders. Alright, so once we are done defeating them, right, we can go ahead and drop down. So that was a pretty tough fight and it took very long, that's why I cut it out. Uh, my Sucrose and Diana actually just um, died. But if I'm not wrong, there's no more combat left over here, so we should be good to go. Just need to... Most Okay, most likely there will be a bunch of puzzles that lead us in, so maybe we have to uh, guide these two series back. So, okay, the chest is inside. Wow, okay. So, one trick to find series is actually to use your elemental side in case you guys didn't know. So, this series is coming from this direction, so we just have to run in this direction. Alright, so after feeding the two series into this thing, the gate will open and this is our last crimson, uh, what do you call it, oh scarlet quartz rather. And this last scarlet quartz, we can go ahead and feed it into right, uh, this thing. 
and we're done so this should be it for this part of the quest and uh, I'll just cut to the point where we commence the next part of the quest okay so uh, I'll actually just fast forward this part but basically uh, we'll be starting back where we left off so uh, before we started all those uh, all those quests to get the three guys this is where we got stopped by the snowstorm if you guys recall and yep so right now what we need to do is just to get to the top Alright, back to real time, so we actually uh, have to defeat one of these guys. Alright, so for the next part of this quest, we actually need to tore out all the shards again. So we're going to have to find all the crimson again, one by one, and then we're going to feed it into the thing. So, once again, I'll speed this part up. Alright guys, so I actually have the last piece of the scarlet quartz. So once we start this, we should be able to form this entire structure together. And we can unlock the next part of this quest. So the, once these uh, pieces form together, the next part of the quest will start. I'm not sure if it's the end of the quest yet, but let's see how. Okay, so this structure seems a little bit familiar, I would say. I really miss those days where like, you know, we have all these like, story quests and stuff. I imagine it must be pretty fun for you guys to explore all these things. <laughs> so it, it might be a bit weird, uh, this, uh, this guy just floats into the air. But all will be explained to some extent. Alright, so the space underneath is actually a bunch of chests and a domain. So this domain is actually the domain that we would need in future if we want uh, for our cryo cryo units as well as hydro units. So, but you know we won't challenge this domain until we are level 45 most likely. So we are actually done with the quest for into the uh, for in the mountains. Yeah. So we will just collect all these chests, report back to the adventurer, and we will be off for our next quest. I mean, not next quest, uh, next part of this uh, video. For the next part of this video, we will be challenging some domains. So I'm actually here at one of the domains. And they recommend to have a geo character. If I'm not wrong, this is the one where we will have to break some of the shields of those uh, guys. So let me just go ahead and see what I can do for my Noel. Switch to the Favonius Great Sword. Slap a bunch of artifacts onto her. Let's just slap this, why not? Um, I'm not using uh, Elemental Master. Okay, but Sucrose. I'm, I'm still using Sucrose, right? So I'm not using Xiangling for this domain because Xiangling is. Uh, well, this domain has a bunch of pyro guys inside, so we are most likely not going to need a Xiangling for that. So we just slap a bunch of artifacts onto our Noel. Doesn't change the fact that she's level 20, so we might have... Okay, you know what, just, let's just level up to 40. So as you can see, right, through our expeditions and stuff, right, um, I mean, uh, through our exploring and stuff, we already got 128 of these, and it only takes 29 to level her up. So these resources are pretty negligible, especially if you, you know, explore the world properly. For for me, right, my main goal for this uh for this series, right, is not actually to uh you know slowly explore the world and stuff. It's to actually uh, let you guys know what to do at each point in the game. So you know, of course, you will see my little for me because I skip some. Let's give the part of the exploring which I need to get you guys to slowly enjoy the process. 
Judging by how fast we are progressing, off camera um, I'm, def I'm definitely going to do a bunch of uh, bunch of the story quests and stuff to level up. But I feel like this, you know, these domains are very nice to show you guys on camera. Alright, guys, so we are back in this uh Waku and we are going to challenge this domain. Okay, wait, maybe not. I forgot. Okay, so my bad. This domain actually recommends a party level 60. And we are slightly under leveled for that. So we are not going to challenge that. Um, What we are going to do... Okay. Is there another domain we can challenge? There's a total of 3, right? Okay. Um, Was it this? Yep, I think so. Okay, so we are going to challenge this guy. Unless, wait, was oh is this the easiest one or is this the hardest one? I can't remember. Okay, this is the easiest one. This one uh, recommends the party level 50. But we need a Geo character, right? So, going to go ahead and... Okay, so, um... Wow, well, okay, this, this is a burden because I, I swapped all my artifacts back. So, we are going to have to swap all the artifacts back onto Noel. Uh, okay, where's Noel? Uh, where's Sang Ming? So all these attack artifacts onto Noel. Actually, Noel skills off of defense, but you know, it, it doesn't really matter that much because she's under level anyway. So her uh, shield is not going to be a, a big deal for us. So we just want her for the for the element for, for the element. Because you know, Geo probably means that we need to break a bunch of shields. Let's see. Okay, um. Oh. This is annoying. <laughs> okay, I'll speed this up because we actually need to light up all of this stuff. <laughs> Alright, so as we come to the end of this, finally. <laughs> It took us a whopping like couple minutes just because of how long the skill cooldown is. Man, they recommended Geo, but they should have warned us, man, about this, uh, this puzzle situation. But nonetheless, we are here. So I think this is where the main part of the challenge is gonna be. Okay. I think this is where the. Yeah! Yeah. 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 It's nothing compared to Kaya's damage. It helps from time to time, I guess. Okay, one third down. Okay, this is 
probably the main reason I would recommend that Geo. Because we have to bash one of these guys. Bash and then we move. Oh, Noel has a skill. Okay, his shield is gone. Pop all these bunch of guys. Okay, a bunch of shooting going on. Desperately need to get this guy. Down. Because it hurts a lot. I think we are good. It's giving me a bit of the spiral of these views. Like, you know, <laughs> we're rushing for time and fighting this bunch of guys. But I think we are good because they are, you know, they're level 50, which is the same as us. Okay. Damn, done. These two small little guys. We can blow that guy off. Let's do this. Smash this rock pillars. If one minute to spare, I think we are uh, good. Alright. That's it for this domain. Get our stuff and let's get out of here. That's the, another domain done. So I think we are a couple of gems short because you know I wanted to do those three domains. I calculated everything nicely. I think we are oh we are actually not a couple of gems short, we are actually good. So oh must be those achievements that I collected from Dragon Spine, that's why like the numbers went up. Okay. Um but so uh with that right, I would like to wrap up this episode with a 10 pool once again classic every episode 10 pool right don't know how long i can sustain this but you know hopefully by next episode we can do another 10 pool but um we'll be going right into it so oh, feeling very nervous i need some new characters and some hopefully a five star come on <laughs> i need a food tower food tower is really good come on come on come on Oh no, no 5 star, okay. Let's give us some good 4 stars and a freaking um, freaking pole arm for Xiangling, please. Is it that hard to get a pole arm? Come on. Oh man. Okay, Diona, C1 Diona. Not the worst. But please, can we just get a pole arm? Come on. Pole arm, pole arm, pole arm. Oh man, I think that's the last one. Ah, <sighs> well, I don't know what's, it, what's up with my luck. Maybe the game is like punishing me for, you know, um, not, not following the guide. Because I'm pretty sure the guide told us not to, not to rush. I mean, not to, um, feed the three stars. They, they gave us a warning. And I ignored that warning. Well, guess that's what I get. So, um, I think this episode is getting a little bit lengthy, so I'm probably not going to show you guys uh, me spending my resin. It's honestly just me doing the pyro and cryo whopper flower with a bunch of the uh, animal, animal hypostasis, you know, nothing too, too special there. Alright, uh, so hopefully next episode we can unlock in a zuma and we can get some uh what you call it we can get ar35 so with that i bid you guys goodbye thanks for watching and i'll see you soon like comment subscribe